the given system is interesting because there are three variables but only two equations. Let's denote this one as one, this two. Let's look at equation two first because x, y, z are all at the bottom. So they should be non-zero. So from two, we get x non-zero, y non-zero, z non-zero. We denote this one condition star. We want to eliminate the denominators of equation two. So both sides multiply by x, y, z. So x, y, z times one over x plus one over y plus one over z equals x, y, z times zero. We distribute this one to the first. So cancel x, so we get y, z. The second term, cancel y, we get x, z. The last term, cancel z, get x, y equals zero. So we denote this as three. Now look at equation one, square both sides. So from one, we square both sides. So x plus y plus z square equals zero square, right? So we expand the left side. So we get x square plus y square plus z square plus a 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. The right side equals zero. We can manipulate this equation. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus, we can take the common factor two out. So we get 2xy plus xz plus yz equals zero. Now look at condition three. The part inside bracket is just zero, right? So I'll say because three, so we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals zero. Because x, y, z are real numbers. So the only solution is x equals y equals z equals zero. But it is not possible because the condition star. So I'll say, because the condition star, that's not possible. So that means the given system doesn't have solutions. So no solutions. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.